Hey there guys, Attic PC guy here, bringing you the latest news in tech and gaming, which reminds me, I really need to find a nice name for this segment if I'm going to keep uh, doing videos like this. I'll try to keep them short, which reminds me, I should start with the actual content. Uh, for starters, the G GTX 1660 Ti has launched this week, and although it does have a weird name, it does feel a very much needed uh, space in the graphics card hierarchy. Uh, it is a bit worse let's say, than the RTX 2060. Uh, it does not feature any ray tracing whatsoever. Uh, it is, however, a lot better than uh, the previous uh, GTX uh, 1060, obviously. Uh, and it is at a price point of, I believe, 279 uh, USD. Uh, retail prices may vary per manufacturer, obviously. And uh, it is an actually excellent uh, price proposition per performance. Uh, it's something that I have to give to NVIDIA, although in my opinion, the rest of the recent releases are very poorly priced in terms of price performance comparison. This one, honestly, in my opinion, really hits the nail on the head and gets the pricing just right. The fact that this card is priced at this price point and that the performance is actually quite reasonable for that price kind of destroys a bit uh, AMD's uh, R uh, RX 590 proposition, which was the kind of go-to budget card for that price point. And this one is priced at about the same and costs less. So if you're choosing between the two, I would have to recommend that you get uh, GTX uh, 1660. It's a stupid name. I keep forgetting it or trying to say something else. Uh, in any case, I would recommend you get the GTX 1660. However, if you can afford a couple extra bucks, I would still go for the RTX uh, 2060 because it is quite an improvement and it's not a lot, lot more. But that said, uh, if you're on the budget, that is my advice for now, GTX 1660i is where it is at in terms of price performance. It doesn't get better than that at this point. Now, AMD's response to this release was to drop down the price of the Vega 56 to also the same price point. Now, what does this mean? It means that right now, comparing the Vega 56 to the 1660i, it's mostly even with the Vega from AMD being better at lower resolutions and uh, the GTX 1660i getting better at higher resolutions. However, the um, AMD card does come with three free games in the value of around 140 to 150 USD. So there is that to keep in mind. And uh, the fact that both cards are aimed at beginner budget gaming builds so you're probably going to be gaming at lower resolution so the amd card might actually be more advantageous for now the thing is that only one uh, manufacturer of graphics cards of aib board partners blah, 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 only one of them actually has the card on discount for the i believe it was 250 or 275 um, Anyway, you get the point. Only one of them has a discount, and it is very possible that it is only a temporary uh, discount to kind of disrupt the launch of the NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, if that's the case, uh, if the price will go back to its previous price point, then yeah, the 6060 Ti is what you need to get. If you can get one Vega 56 now, go ahead and do it. Although I doubt you will, because if it's only one manufacturer, you probably can't find them super easily, but you know, you're welcome to try it. Still on the subject of uh, the kind of uh, taken down uh, RTX cards, there have been rumors going around of, uh, forgive me for the naming scheme, it's what I saw reportedly, it does not make sense, GTX 1180. So you have 1660, but then you have 1180. Uh, take a pick. Um, if that is the case, it might actually finally bring a bit the high-end cards to the more affordable level. Uh, it's probably not going to be five or six hundred anyway, but uh, if it is, let's say, six hundred, seven hundred, it will be a lot more affordable than the current prices that we are seeing for the RTX 2080, 2080 Ti. And if it gives comparable performance without the RTX stuff, then, you know, it might actually be a good price per performance proposition, which it really is not at this point on the high-end cards, and I would recommend getting a 1080 Ti instead of the high-end cards, but good luck finding one unless it's used, and even then, they're kind of expensive for used cards, the ones that I've seen. So we are kind of stuck there. 
more on graphics cards because this is a topic that skips on giving the last few weeks and months. Uh, Navi. I have reported the last week that Navi from AMD, the new gaming GPUs that they will be giving out, or her uh, giving out, I wish, uh, putting out there, uh, they were reported to be delayed to October slash November ish. There have been other reports that I saw in the meantime that say that there will be something about uh, the 7th of July, because you know, 7 slash 7, and they want to emphasize the 7 nanometer manufacturing process. Uh, marketing, I know. Uh, that could point towards a launch there or towards an announcement there or a reveal there or you know something like that so that's the day to keep in mind and uh, hopefully it will be a release honestly i kind of expecting to release towards the end of the year and uh, i am not really buying what the rumors are going around the navi architecture that it will provide the um, 2080 levels of performance for uh, how much were people saying it is going to be again 300 something dollars no they're not going to put it for sale even if they do have that performance even if it is cheaper it's not going to be that much cheaper i mean come on you're going to 2080s are selling for like at retail right now uh, close to 900 800 something to 900 uh, euros at least around my area um if you're gonna be offering that level of performance, you're not gonna sell it for 300. Maybe you can sell it for 300 and make a profit if your process, manufacturing process is really that good, which I doubt. But then why wouldn't you price it at like six, seven hundred, and you would make people would still rush to buy it because it would be a lot cheaper than the competition, and you would get basically free money. You'd double or triple your actual profits. Like you know, people. Uh, think a bit critically as well and from a business perspective if it would make sense for them to charge that little for the card it's not going to happen also still on the topic of graphics cards, and i promise it is the last point for today uh dlss there has been uh quite a bit of uh, outrage over the dlss uh, feature from uh, the newest nvidia graphics cards uh, apparently dlss is not enabled unless you have the ray tracing on not necessarily the ray tracing on but the situation is that uh, the dlss is basically aimed at um, down, blah, 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 downscaling not downscaling at using downscale the um, versions of your game for example the 1080p uh, resolution and then upscaling it to let's say 4k now what happens is that if your graphics card if you have a very good graphics card like a 2080 uh, Ti 2080. If you're playing at uh, let's say 140 FPS, then the tensor cores that provide the DLSS feature will not be running fa will be running slower than the, the normal CUDA cores that provide you the normal frames. So what does that mean? It means that it would actually be slowing down your game to have DLSS enabled in that situation. Now, if you have a very graphics cards very good graphics cards and if you do not having ray, do not have ray tracing on then it will be always worthless to have it on so it's just disabled by default when you do enable ray tracing your flame uh, flame rate blah, 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 your frame rates uh, drop down massively and then the tensor cores actually provide the benefit so that is basically the usage the use case for the tensor cores for the DLSS feature now there are two issues here that people are upset about. The first one is the quality of the upscaled image is very, very subpar. It's a lot worse image quality. And NVIDIA has come out and saying that with time, the deep learning AI will improve on that aspect. So we'll see. We cannot comment on uh, you know unproven uh, features and promises. Uh, the other issue is that a lot of people, myself included, were kind of half expecting that you could use the LSS to basically boost the frame rates a little bit uh, let's say that on a given game you're averaging um, you know 120 fps and you were hoping perhaps that the lss would help uh, leverage the fps a bit higher so you could reach the 144 hertz mark you know something like that just an, just an example, maybe not the best one, but in any case, the way that the LSS was advertised, it was never specified that um, it would only benefit on low frame rate scenarios. It was never advertised that it was mainly geared at um, basically taking the hit of uh, RTX being on 
and making it a bit more playable. And it was also never shown that uh, the image quality was suffering that much. And now that uh, more games with the LSS and ray tracing are out, you are kind of kind of starting to see the cracks on the paint, and um, it's not looking super pretty anymore. So another hit to the whole RTX feature list lineup, I guess, because um, it's really not amazing and it kind of leaves a lot to be desired and we're paying a huge premium for it but thankfully apparently there are more ray tracing less cards coming out i hope that the 1180 rumor is true and uh, that should uh, give us some options at least even on the high-end scene the last topic for today covers gaming um anthem anthem from bioware has finally released uh, yesterday i have not uh, gotten it yet uh, it is on my two playlist i have a little two playlist um, that is basically when i do finally upgrade my graphics star there's a whole list of games that i want to play because i don't want to basically play them with uh, crappy settings and then have to replay them again if I want to enjoy fooling. Anyway, uh, going off topic as per usual, uh, Anthem is a loot shooter. If you are familiar with, for example, Borderlands Destiny, that sort of game, it's uh, kind of a loot grinder thing like Diablo or Path of Exiles, that sort of stuff, but in the shooter perspective. Now, the game was very, very anticipated uh, for a very long while and then had a very, very disappointing de uh, demo weekend uh, that people could able to try the game, but there were massive, massive issues. Uh, a lot of these issues actually made it to launch, so it was a quite disap uh, disappointing launch, but uh, Bioware sent out the Day Zero patch that fixed some of those issues, including uh, massive loading screen timers uh, in the neighborhood of like one minute or more, even if you were using, let's say, an SSD or an M2 drive. So that is quite noticeable. Now, some of those issues were fixed, including the loading timers, Others were not, and uh, we'll see how it goes in terms of uh, bug fixing and uh, optimi optimization. There were also some optimization issues that even high, high-end software could not even break the 60 FPS. So, um, yeah, uh, there's that to think about. Now, th those have been uh, the news for the week. Um, let me know if you guys actually like this format, or if I should just, you know, do once in a while and not bother, or if I should do it on a regular basis, like every or almost every week depending if it's a busy week or not also let me know if you guys know of a nice name i could name these fragments because uh, you know it could be something very generic like this week in tech and gaming but that's a little bit long uh, and yeah you know let me know so if you enjoy this and if you like the content on the channel uh, make sure to subscribe and share uh, we could use some publicity and some um, growth in the channel i would very much love that as i have said before not only to uh, be able to reach a certain amount of people and be able to you know turn on adsense or whatever but also to actually feel like people actually enjoy the content and that i am not spending a whole lot of time because it does take a lot of time to uh, make some of the videos i've been making and doing the research behind them uh, so it would not feel like i am doing a, lot, a whole lot of research and time for basically nothing so uh, let me know what you guys think give me your opinions and uh, yeah if you enjoyed this video and the other videos in the channel uh, like subscribe share you know the drill uh, spread the word now uh, epic pc guy here and i'll see you next time